Now, if you're not familiar by now, Roy Moore is the Republican candidate in the Alabama Senate race that is just four weeks away. He is also the most biblically human being who has ever run for anything. <laughs> Here's how biblically he is. Once, when he was the state's chief judge, he got thrown out of office for refusing a federal court order to remove a Ten Commandments statue that he had installed from the courthouse. Now, look, I grew up in a super religious family, but that is just extreme. <laughs> Bringing your own Ten Commandments to work? <laughs> like, even Moses would be like, dude, what are you doing? I did it because I didn't have an iPad. Like, what's your issue, man? You need to calm down. Then, after getting reelected, he got thrown out again, this time for refusing to follow the Supreme Court ruling that gays can get married. So, that's basically who he is. This is the vibe, right? So, Roy Moore defines himself completely by the Bible, except for the part about thou shalt not be gross. Bombshell <laughs> allegations against U.S. Senate candidate Roy Moore. He allegedly had a sexual encounter with a 14-year-old girl when he was in his 30s. We have been digging more into his past and speaking with people who knew Judge Roy Moore around this era, specifically one woman, Teresa Jones, who worked alongside Roy Moore in the late 70s and early 80s when he was a young assistant district attorney. She was a deputy district attorney. And she tells CNN today, it was common knowledge that Roy dated high school girls Girls. Everyone we knew thought it was weird. We wondered why someone his age would hang out at high school football games and at the mall. Okay, now that is super creepy. Because now I can't stop picturing Roy Moore at the mall trying to lure teenage girls with a Cinnabon. Like... <laughs> and now these allegations dropped on Thursday. And then just a few hours ago... <laughs> just a few hours ago... Yeah, you can enjoy that. I don't mind. You can enjoy it. I think it's pretty funny, too. You can enjoy it. Just a few hours ago, another Alabama woman came forward saying that when she was 16, Roy Moore, who was the DA at the time, sexually assaulted her after offering her a ride home. Now, I don't remember what book of the Bible that's in, but I'm clearly not the only one who doesn't agree with this. Uh, many top Republicans feel the same way. Pressure is mounting from within the GOP for Moore to drop out of the race. Republican Senators Susan Collins of Maine and Orrin Hatch of Utah, along with Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, are now among those calling for an end to Moore's campaign. Do you believe these allegations to be true? I believe the women, yes. <laughs> Look at Mitch McConnell's face. He looks like a... <laughs> he looks like a man who made a point that I agree with <laughs> about how we should believe the victims. I'm not used to this feeling. This is... <laughs> this is weird. And, uh, luckily, as a devoted member of the Christian right who's been accused of horrible acts, he knows the one place a person can find forgiveness. You've got to go to a church. And then you take a right and go down two blocks to Sean Hannity's house. <laughs> you see, Sean Hannity is a man who has a season ticket to the wrong side of history. <laughs> and he brought Moore onto his radio show last Friday to give him a chance to defend himself. But as so many young women have learned, if you give Roy Moore a chance, he's just gonna make it worse. Do you remember dating girls that young at that time? Not generally, no. But, if I did, I, you know, I'm not going to dispute anything, but I don't remember anything like that. But you don't specifically remember having any girlfriend that was in her late teens even at that time? No, I don't remember that, and I don't remember ever dating any girl without the permission of her mother. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard someone deny their way into a confession. <laughs> because he was like, did I date underage girls? No, not generally. I mean, specifically, yes. So, <laughs> what I'm saying is all the time. Uh...